around a lot. Um, so hopefully I won't interfere with the camera. I'm going to drive him crazy in the back and, and move around. But I've been very lucky in, in, in my career. I've been at, at Mentor High School for this will be the 23rd year as a head coach. And um, just had some great kids. Uh, we started this spread offense a long time ago. Um, back in 2001, we shifted and we said, our, what is our strength here at Mentor? Um, and you know, what, do we, what do we want to do? We're a big school. We have probably 600 kids in a class. We have a, a varsity team, 10 to 12, of probably right around 100 kids. So we knew um, one of our big advantages was we had really good depth. We have a lot of bodies. So we play our kids one way, and we, we do the tune, and, and our kids are pretty much doing one thing the whole time. So we said, with that, Deb, what's our biggest advantage we have? We're probably not the best, but we have numbers. So let's play fast. So in 2000, 2001, we started going no huddle. And everybody said, what are you, what are you guys doing? Because it was really before it really started coming along. And the newspaper put all this stuff on. What is this show that men are putting on? What are they doing? And we started doing it. We learned and spent some time with Urban Meyer just as he went to Bowling Green. As he left Notre Dame and became head coach of Bowling Green. And, and kind of put some things together and said, we want to play as fast as we can. Some years we do, we go faster. We have a young quarterback. We slow it down a little bit. But we want to play fast. We want to be able to execute. We want to attack. We want to be as physical as we can, and a lot of people say this, you're a spread team. We're a pretty good football team running the ball, and we can get after you doing that. And we obviously, we want to score that. Obviously, we want to score as many points as we can, and we've been pretty good at that over the years, and that's kind of where we've gone. Why do we do it? What, what makes us, uh, you know, what's made us successful in what we're doing? You know, everything we, we do is it's able to do every day in practice. We're able to execute our objectives, we are able to, they're obtainable, they're accountable, they're stressed every day, and our kids understand what they need to do. They could probably go out right now and, and play seven on seven and do fine, because they've been doing it since they were a little guy. And we've been running this since we were uh, in 2001. So we've been doing it a long time, and we've gotten successful at it. What is our offense? We're balanced. People say you're a spread team. We still are probably run the ball 50% of the time. And this year we had a young quarterback. In, in other years, we've had uh, we've had Mr. Football. We've got the the quarterback who plays for the Chicago Bears is our guy, okay, Mitchell Trubisky. So we've had years where we throw it. And this Mitch's senior year in 2012, we had no running backs in the program, none, and a bunch of low receivers. So we threw it all over the place, and Mitch became the running back. So what do we try to do? We have four to six guys who try to carry the ball between the quarterback and the running backs and split time and our inside receivers. We got five to seven guys we try to get to catch the ball. Right, whether that's the back, whether that's the four or five wide receivers, we try to spread the ball around as much as we possibly can. We want to attack the defense in different ways. We want to make people play the entire field. And I think that's the key for people. We're, we, we will appear like we're sophisticated, but we're not. We want to attack as much as we possibly can and spread it out and do what we can. And I spent uh, a good afternoon about a month ago when Mitch came home from Chicago. And we talked, and there was a couple of college coaches, and we were sitting in there talking. And they started talking about the NFL game versus the high school game. And one of the things that I thought was the most interesting part of the discussion is they don't necessarily run a ton of plays, but they find different ways to run the same play. They talked in their discussion that the Chicago Bears, so let's say a cross route is what they're running. They run it in 32 different ways. 32 different ways. Now whether that's three by one, three by two, <coughs> uh, quads, a tight end, a motion shifting, whatever it be, that 32 different ways. And we kind of try to take that to the best we can. Now, obviously, we're not going to have 32 ways we run our uh, certain pass play. But we want to give people as much different looks out of the same play as we can. All right, so we try to give 10 or different, 12 different ways you can do it through motions, through different formations to run that same play. And that's the key. You don't have to be a sophisticated pass team with, with 400 pass concepts. You need to run the same play in a lot of different ways. And 
that's the key, and, and that's where you got to try to do it. A couple of things, multiple launch points is the key. You cannot let people take shots at you. A couple of years ago, we had a quarterback that did not run as well. So we had to try to do some things to protect him. He didn't roll out as well as some of our others. Our, our current kid, we're going to move him. He'll three-step, he'll, he'll play action and, and roll. He'll roll and throw. We'll put him in a lot of different spots and try to do a bunch of different things to take care of. Our quick game is simple. We'll have what we'll call it our military package when we just get rid of it right now, almost like an RPO type play. We'll have another one or two quick games that we just stand up and we're throwing them all quick. We'll have our drop back game, we'll have our roll out, we'll have our play action of which is both in and out of the pocket. So we try to do a lot of different things but running the same place for the kids that we take it off of them. Our run game, we, we are an inside zone team but we do a lot of single pull. We do a lot of single pull. So we'll pull and trap and, and do different things as we can in our run game and we try as much as we can because I think it's the key part of it, get as much deception as you can with motion and shifting and doing different things like that. Our first thing we'll go through is our military package, and I'll be honest with you, I'm going to get used to this as I get to a little bit of film, because it's not quite as easy to run as it is with some other ways, so we'll do the best we can. Our military package for us is just a quick throw out. We're going to stand up, we're going to fire it to the guy who has off coverage on him. We're going to block with everybody else, we're going to get off and go. How do we tag it? We tag Army as our strong side formation, or we're heading to the strong side. Navy, we're heading to the weak side. So for a three by one or a three by two, we know if uh, to the strong side it's Army, and to the weak side it's Navy. And then we tag it to who we're getting. Our number one receiver is the Alpha guy. Our number two is the Bravo guy. Our number three is the Charlie guy. And we can put a T on it to get it to the tailback. So it's a quick way to get a lot of different plays. It's simple. It's Army Alpha or Army Bravo. Off, we're off and running. Okay. Again, there's what it looks like and where we're going. So to the top up there, you got the Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie to the Army side, and then to the Navy side, we got Alpha and Bravo. If you're in a three by two look, simple, quick, easy to do. So if we're going right TA, which is our formation up there, we'll go Army Alpha, which means we're getting it out to number one to the strength. All right, we'll get number two and three off blocking, and it's, he's in off cover, some kind of cover three or a real off cover four. We'll stand up, fire it out there. He'll take one step off. The quarterback just pivots and fires it, and we'll run it that way. Quick, get what we can and make the play. All right, and we, we can hit it into the, to the Bravo or the Charlie. All right, we have a backside slant on the top. So again, we're on the Charlie is the one that will back out. We won't come up and back off. We'll back out away and try to run it away. And then to the Navy, we can run Navy T or F. Now I'm going to try to get this to work. We'll watch a little bit of film and see if we can get this to go. There we go. So we'll watch it up here. We got our, our, our trips sitting over here to the to the bottom down here and it's just a quick to our Charlie and we get it out there we block and we get it on the perimeter. Quick, get rid of it, it's the old way of getting a, a sweep out there and we just get it quick. I wish I could get fast forward through some of this stuff but we'll watch a little bit of that as we go to. Same thing looking, you'll see him just back out of there, we get the block, we get the block and we get a good game out of it. Nice play, good way to start it off. Same way again, now it's out of our quads, so we got a quads look, we got it bunched in tight, and an outside guy, we hit it in there, we doubled the one guy, and got off and made some good gains. It's a quick, simple play. Get it out, get it to the guy, get people on people, go make a play. Again, back into the inside, simple way, easy does it, quick game. Anytime we can get one first down, we're in good shape. When we get two in a row, we're very difficult to stop. Once we can get on a roll, you better get us in, in without getting that first first down. Once we get going, we get you on your heels and we, and we create problems. Out of the three by two, 
right? They didn't cover the low guy or the guy down here on the, on the inside. So you can check it. Boom. Get it out there. Get off and go. Good little game. That's all we want. That's all we need. Go three signal. Go um, typically, he's making the decision. Typically, we'll do it, but we do a lot of check and fees at times and, and then shift it as we see. So, we do both. Um, this kid at this point was a younger kid, and, and we, we told him where to go. Um, so, again, it, it, you know, next year he'll be back, and we'll probably do a little bit more with him and just being able to make the decisions without us. But you can do it either way, and you can signal it. Um, great simple scheme um, with, with the military package. Our quick three-step play that we do a lot, like everybody else, is our stick concept. Um, we get the rollover out of the Y, a quick uh, seven-yard stick by the middle guy, and then the post at the top. In our three-step concept, we have a man side and a zone side. So we have a man side and his own side. He comes up and we get the man coverage. He knows he's going to the man side to the top, to the left there, where we get the slant, the rollover. If he gets the zone, we're going to the stick side, and he's going to and he's going to turn which guy they jump and throw it out there. Very simple, very very quick, easy to do. Um, especially out of that three by one, if they leave that guy open, then we're going to get the stick. Now, to be honest with you, we, our kids will signal to each other and. Number three on the inside can run the stick and the other guy will pull over. So they're going to see who's got the open spot, who's off, and make the play from there. So a good, simple concept. And there it is right there. So you can do it either way. All right, we just signal it. They signal at the line. That guy's off of me. He's rolled up on him. We're going to run it with number three or we're going to run it with number two. Okay, so again, to the left, you got the man side, to the right, the zone side. Let's see if we can get this to look real quick for you here. Okay, quick stick, then left it off, boom. Find it, find the open guy. Whichever one it is, they're signaling it and going. Again, from the back side. Now that's one he really doesn't even need to do that play action thing. Just stand up there and throw it to him. Get it out quick, get it out fast, and, and go with it. So we'll go here, he's got his choice, inside guy, slip it in there. Again, that was a sophomore in his first game. Good sharp kid, going to be a great player. That's actually the other guy um, the year before. But a simple play for us. Good way to run a quick three step. You add that with the military. And Basically, it's good enough. It'll run you everything you need. They're going to back off that inside guy, and we typically have some good inside guys there who run well, and they're going to be really hard to press when they press with taking them deep. Okay, so the stick concept. We got one more in there. That's it. And then you can hit it to the back out there. Coach, I noticed on the last two clips you were cutting with the tackles, but that last clip you uh, just did a base block. Yep, it's up to them. Um, they're going to cut periodically. They got to go right now, obviously, but they're going to go off and get that big defensive end and get his hands down. They do not do it all the time. We leave that up to them. Now, like last year, we were really lucky. We had a kid. The left tackle was going to Ohio State, and the right one was going to Michigan State. So they were. Yeah, that made you pretty good. That sophomore quarterback felt really comfortable in there. Uh, so you know, again, that's one of the things our line does is he gives them that chance every now and then. You're going to cut them. All right, his hand, especially if it's one of those big guys that you got to get his hands down quick. So again, we do that. Now, moving to our drop back, I'm going to go through the next two are, are things I love. A shallow and under concept for us are, 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 are huge and important. I love the concept. It's great plays uh, for us. So our shallow, um, for us, this would be one shallow. So we're telling number one, he's running the shallow concept. Number two, next to him, T is running right off, and we're setting up a little pick there, and running up the sideline. Our Y coming across is our hop right now. He is our read, so if they bring, they bring two from that side, he's throwing it right now on his hop. Then we have the, the dig coming in from the H behind it, which I think is a great play. Not enough people throw digs. It's still the toughest route for defenders. I've coached DBs forever. That is still one of the toughest routes. Big thing we try to really work with our dig here to the top where you see it, it's a, he's coming back. 
Right? He's going to 12 and he's working his way back to 10. He's making it even harder on that DB who's covering. We do not run our dig flat. We run it into the point where he is coming back and he's working back to the ball. The Z to the top has a read. He, I'll be honest with you, he probably never gets the ball unless it's a scramble situation where he gets out. But what he does, if that guy's, if he's got the guy and he can take him, beat him deep, all right, then he's going. If the guy's over top of him, he's going to plant and come right back and then sit out there in case something else opens up to him. So that really isn't going to him. He's the fourth guy. He's if all things break down. So where are we going? We're going to the hot to wide first. Then we're coming to the shallow. And then we're going to the dig. So that would be his progression in his, read, his read, uh, rhythm read and rush go outs, of which he will go to. So that's what he's looking for. I think it's a great concept as it gets to under later. You'll show you more what we've done out of it, out of uh, the one back set instead of the empty. Another, another way in which we do it would be uh, a four shallow now, and now the H is running it. The Y is going to set the pick and, and run up the seam. We'll get the T on the D, and our two outside guys got their comeback. So, again, who do we want to run our shell? Obviously, this one is number four coming on the shell. We get a good pick and, and rub off of it and becomes a really good play. And then, obviously, the dig in behind it. And then we do a pretty good job of setting that up. So, you could go into it that way. All right, so we had one with the outside, and then now the four shallow to the, to the third guy in the strength. And again, if, if, there's, if you need me to send this, just uh, get back to my email at the end. You can send uh, me your email, and we will forward you this at the end. So don't worry about that. Uh, I, I have coaches who understand technology, and, and, and they will take care of that because I am not very good at it. But, we will get it to you whenever you need it. Out of our quads, I am a big fan of this quads formation. So we have the outside receiver spread out, and then we bunch it on the inside, and then you have the other receiver. Now this for us would be too shallow. All right, number one and number uh, five on the top are both running their comeback routes and deep routes. <coughs> Since it's two, we've got the T running the underneath. He'll step out and then come hard right underneath the two guys releasing. The H, who is the guy on the ball, will run the dig, the negative dig, and he'll bring it back. And then obviously Y is our, is our hot guy right now, and, and then taking it to the other scene. So it's another way we run it out of our empty. And again, when I get to under, I'll show you a little bit of how we do it out of the one back a little bit more also. and gives us this, a very similar look. So that's out of our quads, another way to run it. And then... Uh, a way we run it out of a back, or one of the ways we stay with shell and run it is running it with the T running and setting the pick as we're running a four shallow here down to the Z. So we'll bring him, he's coming hard off of the outside, and he's going and, and, and setting the pick that way, running up the seam. We still have the hop to the Y and the, and the, and the dig to the H to the top. So again, as he's looking, he's still looking Y first if he gets the blitz off of that side. And then he's going to the shallow and then back to the dig. And that would be his progression through there. Coach, can you talk about how you teach your hot route with Y? With Y, we're pretty much telling him, get it going now. It's about the second step, he's coming hard and he's got to get through there. Because we're throwing that when they're bringing the backers off of his side. Which way we set the protection and then he's coming and he's getting it quick. It's almost like a really quick slant is what we're teaching. So he gets the blitz off of that side, and then we're coming right now to that. If he doesn't, then he's going back to his shallow, and if all else fails, he'll come to his dig. So that's kind of, did that answer your question, what we're looking at? He just continues across it like He continues across almost like the old rocket route where he's going to work his way up, up the uh, seam there on the other side. But he, he needs to know right now, I'm the guy, I better get my head around. And our quarterback coach tells him, hit him right in the ear hole. If he doesn't, next time he'll get his head around quick. Because he's got to be ready for it if they send it. Because we don't have that protected to that side. Let's see if we can get a couple of shallows here. Okay. Coming to two. I a better way to rewind it. But you'll see it here a little bit better. Um, coming underneath. We get a good pick off there, and we're just coming right underneath it. 
there was a really good team from, from the Cleveland area at Glenville, and they locked you down and fly it this way. We're coming one out of the back. You saw that way uh, of which the back came out and set the pick. He came all the way underneath and got going. All right, so that's the way we run number one. You'll see it right there. Came off of it. Kind of gets lost a little bit and made his way through. Here's out of the quads. Boom. There's the hop, followed by that, setting it up underneath. Okay, and I wish I could rewind it, but I'm not sure I know how to do it with this thing. But you'll see a little bit of coming on the thing and how it opens. There's the, the underneath coming right behind the two guys setting it up for him. All right, so it's a simple way of which we, we did our shallow game. Out of the three by two, this is a good game for us. They're hitting number four in the shallow, and now we hit the dig, and he did a good job of finding the hole. Biggest thing with that dig is, is teaching that guy to find a hole as you come back. Where there aren't they, go settle yourself. This was a state semifinal game for us, a team that dropped a lot of people. It rushed maybe three at the most. And so we, we just had to teach our guys that week to find the open spot. And he did a good job with that. Out of the three by one, this time we hit motion with our shell. And then we hit it that way. So the same way. You could even hit it and bring your back back underneath, depending on what kind of back you had and how good he is at catching the ball. So it's a simple concept that we run a lot of different ways. That's the same thing. Everybody knows the landmarks, knows where they're going, and, and puts themselves in that spot. Okay, good simple way to do it. Coach, are you the only guys in your conference that run this? Are you the only guys that run this offense in your conference? No. There, we, we, we put a lot of good teams. Uh, I know uh, a bunch of them are out here. Coach from St. Ignatius is over there. They run similar spread. Uh, it's, uh, a lot of different people do. Um, it's probably the, the rarity if someone doesn't. Um, you know, we probably, versus the public school, we probably have the biggest advantage in numbers, so we're probably a little more advanced in it than maybe a few people are. But uh, a lot of people do that. Again, that one was going out to number one. So another way in which we could hit it, run it, and go. We get out of the quads. This time we hit the outside guy. And for us, five guards is good. We get you in that second first down, we're gonna be hard to we're gonna be hard to beat. That was a good football team right here. The way we do now under out of the, the four receiver set, the one back, um, is very similar to our shallow. We, were, we have a really good running back this year, so we kept him in the backfield a lot more often. We didn't go as empty as much as we have probably in the past. So we had to get ourselves to the shallow game because it's, it, it's my favorite concept and they, they need to do what I want to do. So we had to develop this. So we went to our under concept, which is very similar, except now we're keeping the back end to give us a little more protection and be able to do things. So again, now, from here, <laughs> This would be for us four under, all right? Our only issue is that under is also our hot there, so he's got to get going, all right? He's going to come off of that quick. We're still setting the pick, and then the hot's a little bit wider. Now, the other thing you could do out of that, you could always flare your back. We kept him in quite a bit in, in, in the backfield this year and kept him in as a blocker, um, but you could do that and dump that off there if they bring the blitz. So, we went with the shallow or the under route by number four out there. We got the dig to the back side, and then we got the, the pick coming from the H on that side. Okay, exact same type play. Obviously one less guy, but same type play. Now we get into three under, of which we'll set up that same rub over here with, uh, with Y setting up, bringing H underneath. We got the dig coming to the back side. Again, now the dig here coming from the big outside guy, and, and that is a great route. And I'll say it over and over, and I said it to our offensive coordinator all the time, that is still a tough route to cover. That corner's out there, he pulls by, he's running hard, that guy still has to chase him. That's still our big guys on the outside. They do a great job of pulling by, getting through, and setting up the dig that way. So, three under, great concept. 
Uh, kind of gives us similar what we did with Shaft it goes there. So we'll take a quick peek at that. Pitting it out to the big guy and on the one under, makes a really nice grab there uh, and makes a good play for us. So again, we now we got the back in the backfield. We're going to either flare them or we're going to keep them in there to pick up anything else. It does a good job. We get the underneath to the big guy on the outside and we get part of our play back. It was a long situation and you did a great job there. Now coming to number two there, makes a great cut, but the same concept. Picked this guy, go, and he came underneath on him. You see it from here. It helps when you have two big tackles like that too. And that's a great move. Really good young receiver for us. Good pickup, good games. Okay, again. Doesn't not say why. Put the third play in a row in here. Mm -hmm. yeah, gotcha. Two by two. <coughs> Comes underneath. Ooh, you stuck that one in there. There's your young guy. Really prefer to bring it back to the dig coming behind him, but he snuck it up underneath. Uh, sometimes he got lucky. There's a young guy. So again, going to the outside guy off of it on a four under. And you'll see it there. All right. Next concept that, that I that I think is a great concept that we do out of our drop back stuff is what we call our shimmy concept. All right, it's, it's more of a boundary play of which we're going to hit into the boundary, and, and we do it a lot. And, and it's one of those plays that's there, and uh, you just got to throw it. And, and we do a couple of things off of it to the front side or to the to the opposite side of the shimmy. You got the wire, who's still the hot guy. He's still coming underneath and hot and he'll settle himself. We've got a post behind him. To the shimmy side, to the left there, we get our little cross going. And I'll show you on the film how they do that. Uh, the X coming up underneath and then running the dig. And then the H coming right off his tail. And then and sitting or coming back in if the guy hangs out there. So they're in the cover two and they sit out there. And as he hits that five yard mark, he's going to come in hard and, and turn it into an in route. So he's kind of reading it. Our quarterback looks and sees it and then throws it to him. Great play. It's there. That guy's there a lot. Much more than the guy behind him. Once they start taking it, then the dig opens really well behind him. Great concept. And, and then we can do it in a different way of which we just hit it with the outside guy. So we run one shimmy here and he's running it. He sits out or he brings it back in and the inside guy's running the dig. Really, really good concept for it's into the boundary. Um, you get anything over that way, and it's very difficult to stop um, without having to roll a bunch of guys over the top of that. The more they put out there, the better chance our back has to become a great player. Okay? We do it out of motion, and, and it really works well out of motion. We'll bring the guy all the way across. He'll still set up that pick there, and he reads it and goes. Now, a lot of times on that motion, he'll end up sitting out there because they're still in the chase mode. But we'll show that a little bit more on film. So a different way to run the shimmy on a three by one, getting it over to two by two and setting it up that way. Let's look at it here real quick. Okay, and two by two look here. Set it up right now and he brings it back in. Good game. Pitch and catch. Pitch and catch. That's a talented team. Glenville is just an outstanding uh, year in and year out. He's got great DBs. And we just find him where he's at. Good route, good throw by the young kid. Now we'll bring it across with motion. Same thing. Boom. Throw it. That one he can throw even a little bit quicker. All right. He's sitting out there. That guy's trailing. He should be throwing that ball as he's hitting his break. We know it's coming. We've got him behind. He hasn't rotated to it enough. We know we've got it right out there. Four yards, five yards. Good, simple pass play. Keeps the chains moving. Keeps us going. And you'll see it here. 
coming across, you'll get a really good view of it. Comes across, comes out, boom. Makes a good throw. Great shimmy concept. There it is again. Now they jumped it. Now look at the dig behind it. We've done it a lot. You're sitting there and they're jumping it, they're jumping it. Here comes the dig behind it. All right? And he does a nice job in the pocket, holding in there and finding the dig in behind it. Great job. Good young kid. Going to be a very talented, talented quarterback for us. See it again. This time he, they both pull by and the dig is open. Good game. Nice play. Is there anything that makes him go to the field? Is, is there, yeah, is there anything he's that still up? looking that way because that's where his blitz is coming from. Mm -hmm. So he gets it. He's still hitting that hot there. Um, that's always been my gripe to the quarterback. Can we just throw it out there? Yeah. It's, it's in his progression to read that hot. So that's the way we're setting protection. So he's looking that way. That's why it's probably not coming as fast as I'd like it to come. Yeah. I, to me, I just want it out there right now because we know where it's coming. Mm -hmm. but, he doesn't want to screw up his progression very well, but that is why he looks that way. And there's your dig behind it. Another really good play I like in our play action is what we call our flop. Uh, again, it's giving very similar things uh, to what you've seen before. Uh, what you've seen out of us and under and shallow and those. Our flop is, is again a nice rub in there between two and three with the dig coming in behind um, with the Z. Uh, we like it and, and do a good job. It actually works. You see it on the goal line. It's a good little pick through there and then the, the dig comes open quite a bit. Where we hit people this year later in the year was the Y right down the middle. Right, there's all of a sudden they're trying to jump that H which we hit or jump that dig and they lose track of the Y that set that pick and there he goes. All right, we hit it twice late in the year for long touchdowns because they completely lost them because they're always jumping after what we hit. So this is our flop look. Again, you've got your, your hot coming with the H that we hit. Then we've got the, the deep or the seam that pulls it out and the, the dig comes in behind it. Can do the same play with motion. All right, we're bringing him across. We run him across. We set that pick through there. He steps out. He comes underneath, and we have the same concept again. How many different ways can you make the play look different? And that's the key. Right, we have these three or four plays, but we do through motion. We do through three by one, three by two, quads, whatever it might be. Okay, to our backside, when we go to our empty, all right, what we like to do now is we'll put a, a, a scheme or a concept on the left side and the right side. Um, again, to me, as a guy who's coached DBs a lot of years, that T running that bench route is very, very difficult. Now, we'll tend to put, when we empty it out, um, a fifth wide out in there, and he's really good at running that bench cut, and it's just a timing thing. All right, so we look at and we're going to tell him which way we want him to go. All right, on that, but again, he's got his hop there. He's got his reach to the right. If we tag it and put the bench concept on the back, it makes for a really good play if they are if they are covering over what we want on there. We'll come back to that bench side. That's something we add to it. Let's look at the flop here. See it right there? There's our pick. Finds the hole. Sneaks himself up and through. Sneaks himself up and through. In the good team we played, Solon, um, year in, year out, really good football team, great defensive coach, does a nice job, and, and we've got to be on our game at the time. Don't ask me why this appears here, but it did, so we just got to get back this kickoff. I can show you our, our pooch kick, because we need two really good returners there. And we're just going to pop it up in the air, a little pooch kick, and we did a great job getting out of cover. No gain out of it. Not that you wanted to see our kickoff, but it appears, so we'll look at it. Down on the goal line, bring the motion across. We got man. Now they screwed that up big time. Ten on the inside, sees what's coming, and is so excited, he screws the whole play up, but worked well for him. He's supposed to come off the guy's tail. He's so excited, he just goes, give me that ball right now. 
All right, it still worked. All right, we know we've got man. We know we've got that pick coming through there. Um, he just rushed it. All right. He, he should be a little bit wider. He should keep himself a little bit wider. Give himself some more room. They blitz. And he's on still a quarterback, so he knows what's coming. And he rushed it. All right. But it worked. So we were pretty happy with it. Again, down on the goal line, um, I, I think it's a good little scheme in there. And he just fires it in low and hard, and, 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 and we make it. Again, speed of the game. We want that ball snapped quickly. All right. That's a little light. We want it up closer to 18. All right? But again, Brandon snapped it at 16. Make the team have to cover it that way. One more in our uh, pass deep pad, or a drop back, and then we'll, we'll go um, into some rollout stuff real quick. So we've got to hustle here a little bit. Uh, our buzz concept, just something different to give that dig, but we reel it with it. All right? To be honest with you, we don't run it a ton. It's just an, an additional. Uh, a wheel that we give off of. We've run a number of digs. We've hit that dig quite a bit. We like it all of a sudden at age now is running the wheel in behind. We still have our hot built in up the middle. We got the dig and we got the wheel coming behind it. Just a different quick concept to show you what we do to, to help that dig a little bit more. Um, again, you need this, I'll send it to you. All right. We also will go from and bring it over to quads and sit that guy out there and if all breaks down and his, his throw away is the, the back sitting out over there. Um, again, quick scheme and let's watch it real quick and then we'll get to the other stuff. We'll watch it one time in here. There's the wheel, we got the dig and we got the guy going right down the middle. The only grass game we played in two years. It's, it's embarrassing that we, we hate playing on grass now. We have become officially a very soft football team. <laughs> that was that. Now let's go to the rollout. I think you got to be able to roll out. Every one of our kids got to be able to roll out. Mitch Trubisky is great on his feet, but he learned as a seventh grader how to roll out and throw, both right and left. You cannot let a defense sit back there and come after you. You've got to. And a rollout is quick. Our spur concept uh, is a simple concept that I know uh, Nick runs a lot. A lot of people run the double out or the double in with the inside guys. It's very simple. He comes out and he sees it and he's throwing on rhythm. Boom. Which guy did they jump? They jump the H, he throws it into the Y behind. Dumps the, they jump the Y and he throws it to the H. For some reason, as he's coming, if they jump into some kind of cover two and they miss it, then he can hit to the outside receiver. <laughs> What we do to the backside of our rollout scheme, you'll see the out. Our guy, no matter what we're doing, if he comes out and they're off coverage to the one receiver side, we're throwing. We're going to take that easy throw as often as we can. It doesn't happen very often, to be honest with you. Most of the times they're pressing us to the backside, but if the team plays us off to that backside, the roll to the right's off, he stands up and he throws it right now. And we'll take that quick out cut. Again, take five yards. We'll, we'll burn the clock and we'll make it go. Great concept, simple concept for him to read. He's just looking for the open spot. He takes it, he gets off, and he goes. So that's our roll and that's our spur. We'll see it real quick. Got a hustle here for you. Boom. Backside. All right, the team played off. All right, he took it right now. Stood up, threw it to the backside. We're rolling here to the to the quarterback's left. It wasn't there, so he just took it. Simple game. Take what they give you. Uh, that didn't work very well. You said that was going to happen, didn't you, Nick? <laughs> All right. Roll out. Another one out of that. Sorry for that one. Not working very well. Um, what we call our scat game, our curl game. And I will say this from a, a guy who's <coughs> Been doing a long time, it's still one of the hardest routes to cover. I don't care what anybody says. Run the curl, run the curl, run the curl. People still have a hard time covering it. All right, what do we do on scat? And in scat switch, we'll take the Y, he's the rollover. The H is, is doing like a sit route there, or a stick route there. And we'll move to the outside and slide it a little bit to open the curl. Uh, and then we get the curl in behind. Great simple concept on the run. Again, you've got to be able to roll out. Right? Even the kid who isn't as good of an athlete has to be able to roll out. Has to be able to roll out. That's the key. 
All right, even if he's not, you know he's not breaking contain. You've got to give them that look, whether he's doing it or not, and he's going to give you a big, oh, I'm worried about him running. No, but you better worry about where he's throwing it from. So that's our scat. Again, motion it that way, boom, put him right out in the flat, take it. Great goal line concept. Sit out there, bring him across in motion, boom, we off and run. Okay, again, you've got the backside. It's always there on that. Hopefully this one works. Like it. Coming to the outside. Take it. Probably should have should have gotten rid of it quicker. That's one of the areas he's got to work on. Rolling to his left. And that's what he'll work on in the offseason this year. Getting out there, getting depth, turning the hips, and throwing it out there. Give him a little bit more <laughs> room to run. Again, scat switch out of that. Rolling it. Does a really good job. Just kind of hides it. Gets his yardage. Gets his yardage out there. The back's going out there. Helps the tackle. Pitch and catch. Pitch and catch. Down on the goal line. And just slip it in there for a win. Play action for us. I know I'm running out of time. I've got about three minutes left. Play action for us. We'll roll out. We'll boot out of it. Okay, we'll roll out and boot out of it. We'll ride it into the back. We'll pull that backside guard around. And then we'll come out and do it. Z to the top there is running a good deep uh, 17 back to 15 route. He's getting off and he's that last man. All of a sudden they bailed out of it. We have him. We're coming in hard. And what we like out of this is that's a very similar look to our hot there. All right, so that guy's coming in. It kind of looks like that's coming. Now we've got a, a play action coming off of it. And then he sticks it in the ground hard and breaks away. We've got the backside guy coming across under the backer or over the first one and under the safety, finding that gap in there, and, and he does come open. All right, simple concept of which we, we roll out of that pocket now. We ride it into the back, and we bring it out and away. We just switch the rolls here a little bit. Now we've got the inside guy running the smash route and the outside guy coming in hard and then breaking it back out, running the pivot route. Same concept, simple thing to do, and we do it out of our rollout package. All right, let's see if we can watch that real quick for you. <coughs> Rides it, pulls the guard, and that one was the outside guy running the pivot. Comes in hard. Jumps it out. You can do it either way. Either guy doing the pit. Staying in there. And the guard actually almost gets in the way. He got so deep on that. Good game. Good play action. Picks up the first down. Coming in again. Ride it in. Pull that guard. That time the guard's really deep. Now we hit the smash in behind. Not for a good game. That guard is a sophomore. He got in the way quite a bit on this, in this game. Pulling around. I think he thought he was throwing the ball. Look at that. Where are you going, young man? <laughs> Jeez. This is why we come, right? And then they got the guy coming across. All right. We're, we're coming towards the end here. Um, what, what an honor it is to be here, um, get out of the cold and, and come down. My email's up there. You want to send me an email, we'll send you uh, this down to you. Um, I'll give you uh, my offensive coordinator's stuff if you have specific questions on what he does and wants to do. Um, it's an honor. And, and like I always try to say, it is we have the best job in the world by far. There's nobody else who has a better job than us, but I think we need to keep track of why we do this. Our job is very simple. It's not about winning and losing. And a lot of people think it is. And a lot of people think that's all it's about. It's our job, and, it's, and we're one of the few people who can do that in this country right now, is create great young men. We teach them the discipline, things they need to learn. Teach them how to become great uh, in school. Teach them how to become great fathers, great husbands great workers. That's our job. That's our single most important job and we can never forget it because we still go around this time. There's still people who think they're Vince Lombardi. 
you're in the wrong job if you're a high school football coach and you think you're Vincent Barber. Your job is to be a great role model to your players and give them everything you can to be successful. Because I'll tell you, in this world of a lot of crazy things that are going on, if we're not doing our job, no one is in this country right now. So I, I commend you for everything you do. Keep it up. Um, if there's anything we can do, please let us know to help. Because um, there isn't a day goes by I know I'm the luckiest guy in the world for having done and come back to my alma mater and been the head coach there for 23 years. Okay, this will be my last year. I'm going to step down and, and, and maybe play a little more golf or something like that along the way. Um, but what a what a lucky guy I've been. And thank you for having me down. Hopefully you got something out of it. Hopefully I didn't bore you. I'm not very good with the technology. It didn't quite work the way I wanted. But hey, you know, I'll be around if you have any questions. Please stop by. Again, thank you very much for being here.